Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a SmartSuite partner, and we're so excited that you're getting started on your journey with SmartSuite. Now, one of the best and easiest ways to get started with SmartSuite is by using one of their many solution templates that they have included for free inside of the system. We can get started in our workspace and we see that we have a button to add a new solution. If we click that plus button, we can choose the option to start with a template. When we open this up, we get a number of different options and we can see that this is organized a few different ways. Up at the top, we see our core workflows. This is perfect for being able to segment your workflows by department within a business or organization. Underneath that, we see many popular choices for industry workflows, for churches, for education. And then we can also see some additional options under other workflows. Now to get started, I'm going to choose marketing and I can see that I have a lot of different options to choose from. And as I scroll down, I can decide that, you know what, I wanna get started with these marketing plans and resources. So I can go ahead and click on use template. And this is going to provision a new solution template for me to get started with. Once this is loaded and opens up, I can see I've got all of these great resources ahead of me and we'll dig into those. But the first thing I want to do is to click down on the heading up at the top and maybe I want to retitle this. So instead of marketing plans and resources, I think of this as marketing campaigns. I'm going to tweak that and let's change the solution color. Maybe we want to do it more the colors of our organization. I'll choose blue and let's change the solution icon. This is marketing after all. So take us to the moon with a nice rocket icon here. Now I might decide that I want to work on the solution before everybody else on my team actually has access to it. To do this, we can go to our permissions and by default, we'd say that everybody on our team has access, but I can go to advanced permissions. I see myself as a member and I could add which members have what access role here to be able to specify who can see what and who can do what within the system. I can see that we have a number of different apps across the top. I've got plans, people and personas, content, brand assets. You'll notice that we have a variety of different ways that we can visualize the information that we see. And as I click through them, I might decide that I actually don't really care about this tools app. So I want to be able to delete this from what I'm seeing because we're not going to utilize it. I can simply click and I can choose to delete that. And when I delete it, it's still available if I change my mind later on within 30 days, but we can start to slim this down so we have only the most important information for our organization. Now in my organization, I don't want to call these plans. I want to think of them as campaigns. So I can simply double click plans and I can retitle it to what makes sense for us. In this case, it's campaigns. Now we can see that some of our data is showing here. It's got a few different fields that we want, but perhaps I want this to look a little bit different based off of my needs. Well, I can click up here and we can see that we have a number of different views already created. We have one for current marketing plans and we have marketing plans by status. Now this one is a grid view as we're seeing, and this one is a Kanban. It's the same underlying data, but we have a different way of visualizing it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new view so that I can tailor this exactly to my needs. Let me press the plus button and I'm gonna create a new grid view. You can see we have a number of different options to be able to choose from, but let's select this grid and I can give it a better name than grid view. In fact, I wanna think of this as our planning stage for campaign. So I'll call it planning campaigns and I'll create this view. And you'll notice that right away, I don't have all of these fields. Well, where did they go? We can simply see these by clicking on fields to display and you'll see all of the available fields that have already been created as part of this solution template. I can simply select all and then I'm able to see every single field that we have available here. This makes it easy by enabling them right away. I can pare down and see exactly what I need because as I'm going through it, I might determine that mm, I don't really need this team field here because we just have one small internal team. We don't have contractors. This isn't relevant for me. I might want to go ahead and delete this field. Again, that's going to put it our, in our recycling bin. 
I can delete it and make that easier to be able to navigate here. Now, I would say that you also have the option, instead of deleting fields, you can simply say which fields you want to display or not. So maybe I don't really care about displaying the goals in this planning view. I can go ahead and click that X, and that will no longer be visible in that display. Now, I also might want to improve the overall flow and user experience of this workflow by saying that every time we create a new record, we want that status to be defaulted to planning instead of forcing the user to have to select a dropdown value every time. To change this, we can simply click on the column here. We can go to modify field settings and we can click on defaults where we can say we want planning to be our default status. When we update that, now every time we create a new record, it's automatically going to be set to planning for us. Let's go ahead and try creating a record. We can say, this is for a podcast. And you'll notice over here now, by default, we've got that value of planning. So it makes it really easy to be able to add values and not put the work on the user if you know what the defaults are going to be each time. What if I want to add a new field? I'm not restricted to the fields that are already there for me out of the box. I can add new ones. I just have to press this plus button. And you can see we have a number of different options available to us. In fact, we can see all of them if we explore the field types, and we have 44 different options of field types on how to be able to visualize and input that data to make it relevant to you. Now, there's tons of options to choose from. In this case, I simply want a currency field. So I'll click, and you'll notice that we've now got some configuration options. I'm going to retitle this to budget instead of currency. I'm in USD here. And I really don't care about cents. I really want this to be to the dollar value. So I'll change my precision and we'll go ahead and add that field. Now it's as simple. If I want to update values, I can just click and I can enter in my budget value there. And if I change my mind later on on what I want to call that field, it's just as easy as clicking on it again and I can change from budget to amount. Now the grid view makes it really easy for us to be able to add new records in line. We can update values from within the grid, but we might find other situations where we want to be in a record view to be able to update information within a form. If I want to edit one of these, I could click and open up the record. And you can see that this has a different layout for me to be able to work on this one singular record. Now we wanna make this workflow really easy for people who have to work on it every single time. If we have too many fields showing, that makes it tricky for us as we're trying to keep really organized. In this case, we can see that we have a number of additional fields here, including this amount or budget field that I just created. Rather than having every single field display on the screen, we've got the ability to add sections. I might wanna have a section and call this financials. And when I have that section, we can now say, Maybe instead of being open every time, because we care about this during the budgetary planning, but we don't really care about this when we're actually working on the campaign itself, I could go ahead and click these ellipses and say, let's keep this collapsed by default. And same thing that we have for this other section. So now every single time that I open up that record view, I see only the relevant fields that I need to be able to interact with. And if I want to get to that budgetary information, I can open up that relevant section. Let me close out my record view here. And now that I've created this view with the fields and the layouts that I want, I can go back and organize my views a little bit. Maybe that initial grid view of current marketing plans isn't really relevant to me. Well, I can delete that view as well. Click and delete it. And one feature that I really love is we've got the ability to create folders as well. So I can press that plus button, create a new folder, and let's just call this planning. And this helps me stay organized. Now I could put my planning campaigns under here. We could create some other views that we want. And this really helps keep us organized. Now from here, we've done what we need to in my campaigns app. But if I'm looking at others like people and personas, now I can follow the same exact process. I can remove fields I don't need. I can add new fields, default values, change the layouts how I want, and we're good to go. The last thing I'd recommend that you do is when you get this set up the way that you want, so you've tailored this now from the solution template to actually match the needs of your organization, 
you really don't need all of the underlying data there. The data is really helpful when you're getting started because you can see how that solution template works. But when you're ready, it's probably time to delete that so you can start to use it for your own organization. You can click up at the top for marketing campaigns. And now we can say, let's delete that demo data. Once we confirm it, that immediately removes all of the additional records. And we can see that we've got a clean slate ready to go to start using with our organization. I hope this has been helpful for you. I'd love to hear how you're planning on using the solution templates to get up and running with SmartSuite. So leave any questions in the comments below.